Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of NHL Be a Goalie. Hopefully you guys will enjoy this one. We're facing off against the Dallas Stars, so let's get it started here. We're actually doing pretty good in net so far. I believe our last game we actually came out with a win, which is pretty damn awesome. But we're going to jump in here against the Dallas Stars. We have to get the next, you get two wins of the next four games. So we're going to start at American Airlines Center here against Dallas nice little on oh, ice productions little oh that's actually the first time I've actually seen that that's actually pretty cool but we're coming out here pretty strong here already which is great oh there we go nice oh fortunate but anyways I want to talk about what's going to go on with the channel this like next year um as this is the I believe this will be the last video of 2023 to this channel. Um, so this is going to be the last video of this year. So hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed 2023. Hopefully you guys had a good year. Um, hopefully you guys will have a better year. If you guys didn't have a good year in 2023. So hopefully you guys have a better year in uh, 2024. And it's weird to say that. It's like, it's weird to say that. That we're in that many like crazy but anyways oh there we go nice uh nice little quick goal right there to get in the lead by one but i want to talk about what i have planned for this channel for 2024 and all that stuff and i know that i say this every single year when it comes down to it um but this year is um the new year is gonna be completely different for the channel i'm gonna do I'm going to try to do two to three live streams a week to the channel. Two to three live streams. Um, I don't know what I'm going to live stream. Probably going to be a game, like either like a playthrough or um, something. Uh, maybe NHI, uh, NHL franchise mode. Don't know yet. But it's at least going to be a game um, pretty much every single time, obviously. But I would love to do a different game every single time. But... I think we're gonna do like kind of like a playthrough of a game or something like that and just just do it that way but yeah so live stream at least three times at least two to three times a week I'm gonna to try to do on top of that more NHL more videos obviously I'm gonna upload more videos in January than I did in December and whatever October the previous month because um, the last couple of months here on YouTube on this channel have been lackluster i gotta say the least they have been lackluster but i plan on changing that for uh next year plan on doing a lot more videos obviously a lot more live streams and everything like that so hopefully you guys can uh hopefully you guys will appreciate that obviously having having more videos and all that stuff so yeah but i just been been taking a little break obviously um for the new year and obviously having I had tons of family over for the past uh like boxing day here in canada i had it right after christmas um been busy on christmas been busy on boxing day having all the family here for the first time in quite a while we had all of our family here in, in like one household which is uh which is very tough to do but we did it on boxing day which is great so that's why you guys didn't see a video at all. Oh my god. He really picked that corner because I was covering it pretty good. And the puck just went straight in. Jeez. Alright, Tyler Sagan. Hell of a shot on him. Jeez. He really... I was... I think I was in a pretty good position. You check this camera angle. Yeah, I was... Just got it right by me. Jeez, alright. Alright. Good goal. Cool. Tie it up. So yeah, so like I've been I've been finally getting well I got the I got the, the streaming software like like I've set it all up like the way I want it, like all the like all the stuff that I want to do with it. Like uh like the scenes and the different scenes and the transitions and all that stuff. So I finally got that all set up the way I wanted. So I know I don't need to do all that, but that's just the way I want to do it, and I want to do it properly. So, I spent some time really getting into it and really customizing it and really making it my own, pretty much. 
uh, with the scenes and the transitions and all that stuff. So we're going to see how that goes, actually. So I don't know what to do first. I don't know what live stream to do first. Maybe you guys have a suggestion in the comments. Um, a game that you guys want me to play or check out or anything. Uh, please let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to see if we could actually do a stream in it and all that stuff. I was really thinking about doing like a like a franchise mode live stream once uh, for NHL or um, maybe go back and play the previous NHLs on stream. Uh, I think that would be pretty fun like playing like the older NHL here on, on stream. I think that would be pretty fun to do. Go back to um, possibly a, a good NHL game. <laughs> so Anyways, we're building pressure here. We got full pressure. Perfect. We need to keep the puck in their zone. Wear down their goalie. Oh, come on. We need to get more shots into the slot there. Yeah, from the slot. We need to get more shots there. Oh, come on. There we go. Go back in. Oh, come on. Keep the puck in. Keep the puck in. Oh, they're nice little hop. Nice little hop. There you go. Get it back into the zone. Get back into the zone. The goalie's still tired. The goalie is still tired. Panarin. Here we go. Come on. Oh, damn. We lost it. The goalie got his energy back. There you go. We're actually playing very well, actually. This team is actually playing really, really well. Even though the game is tied, that Tyler Sagan shot was absolutely ridiculous of a shot anyways. So, there we go. All right. Fox with the puck. Gets into their zone. Tries to do a little dangle. Oh, that was so close. Right over the net. Oh, there we go. Oh, he could have tucked it in. Couldn't tuck it in right there. Ooh, nice save. Nice glove save. All right. We get full pressure in their zone if we win this face-off. Even if we don't win this face-off, we still get full pressure in their zone. So, our record is 3-2. and two. Not bad. Not great, but it's not bad. Like, it's not bad for a backup. It's not bad for a secondary goalie, in my opinion. Seven minutes remaining. Man, that shot from that angle from these guys is absolutely ridiculous. So I was also looking into like different NHL or different like hockey games as well. I was really looking into um, what I could do if I get a VR headset. If there's a couple games on there that are hockey related that I could possibly do a video on and stuff like that or a series or something like that too. I was really looking into um i know there's a couple of nhl uh not nhl games but like hockey games overall on vr that have uh, other youtubers have played the goalie's down there we go there we go we get the lead we tired him out just enough he's super tired he can't even get up <laughs> yeah i was looking into that as well i was looking at to like different things as well for like jumping into and trying out um like vr wise if i do get a vr headset i do plan on getting a vr headset but i want to do it i mean i still want to get a vr headset even if i don't like do anything like youtube wise with it or if i don't make any videos with it or anything like that i still would like to get a vr headset anyways so but um i'm looking at like different games on vr and see what what it is there for hockey related all the heck so if you guys have any suggestions on that you guys can let me know in the comments down below love to uh get any suggestions on any hockey related uh vr games that would be actually pretty cool to check out um but anyways we're gonna get the third and final period started i'll see you guys when we get it started i'm gonna take a thumbnail real quick and then um yeah we're gonna get right into it all right, guys, we're going to get the third and final period started here. We're up by one. We actually did really good on slowing down the Dallas, Dallar, uh, Dallas Stars goalie on our last goal. But unfortunately, the period ended, so we couldn't continue that pressure. Because even though once you score, like, it doesn't just reset. Like, the goalie thing doesn't just reset. It actually stays down. So, like, it's a little bit easier to score if you score, like, right after, too. Like, if you slow down the goalie... Then you score again, like right after. It's so much easier. But what I found online, like playing online and stuff like that, having the full pressure system 
doesn't matter anymore online. Like, it does not matter anymore. You can still do what you did in the previous years, grab the puck, skate down the ice, do a little dangle, and you most likely will get it in. Anyways, building the full pressure thing, building the pressure in the zones doesn't really matter anymore. What I've seen online, which which sucks, because like that's one of the main, main things in this game is to build pressure, stay in the... Stay in the other team's zone and stuff like that. Obviously, you can still do that and it still works and it still slows down the goalie and stuff like that and all that. But overall, like, you really don't need to um, really do that anymore. You really don't need to build up full pressure or anything like that. You could, you can still do it, but you don't have to. So, it's one of those things that's. It was a good feature. Like, people did build up pressure. People did these things in the beginning of. NHL 24 like the beginning but after that after people realize you can just like once people got used to the game and then people just realize you can just skate into the zone and still do what you did in the previous year to score it does it just doesn't matter anymore now so which sucks I would love to see EA would I would love to see EA to change that to make it harder for you to score if you haven't built up pressure if you haven't done anything have like certain amount of shots or a certain amount of um time in their end and stuff like that so but anyways that's one of the problems i have with with this game one of many obviously a lot of people do have problems with this game overall how like ea done it and their stuff like that so but like be a pro and stuff like that you definitely need to like build up pressure and stuff like that that would be it's very useful in be a pro and offline modes but online, people, people just have have like no way now. It's just, just to skating and score pretty much. So, which sucks. But hey, we found a way. I knew people were gonna find a way to break or to tr like get away from the pressure system. And some teams don't really need it. But a lot of like the majority of teams that we actually play online, me and my club. They do build up pressure. They do stay in the zone and stuff like that. So they use that. They use the game mechanic to what EA wanted them to, like what EA wanted them to do with it, right? To build up pressure, stay in the zone, stuff like that. But there's some other teams that would just like, you literally just skate in from like after we build up full pressure and slow down their computer, like slow down their goalie and like took all of his energy away and. He's still making spectacular saves. I don't know how we're still not getting in the net. He's flopping in the ice and somehow we're still not getting in the net. Maybe because we're bad or whatever. But then, like, they're slow as possible. And they skate down to the ice and they take, like, one shot from the blue line in our end. And it goes in. Like, it's just, it's ridiculous sometimes. That, that part of the game is ridiculous. But, anyways. 25 seconds left here. We're up by one. They have pulled their goal. Oh, they didn't pull their goal. I thought they did. They did pull their goal for a split second. I seen it pop up. Maybe because they didn't have the puck. They didn't pull their goalie. But anyways, 10 seconds left. They pulled their goalie this time. There we go. Dump it out. End the game. There we go. Come on with a win. There we go, boys. We actually get a win. There we go. This is Dallas Stars too. We only let in one goal the entire game. That's unlikely me. Jeez. Man, maybe the new year is going to be good for us uh, when it comes down to be a pro and be a goalie. Maybe it's going to be a good year. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this, make sure you guys smash the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe if you guys haven't already. My name is Justin Orprez, and I'll see you guys in the next... Uh, I'll see you guys next year, pretty much. See you guys next year. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next be a pro, next be a goalie, whatever it's going to be. Or even a live stream. Maybe a New Year's live stream uh, to kick off the new year. Maybe... Maybe do a live stream. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Yep.